Hi, it's Randy Korowitz from the Andrew Weil Center for Integrative Medicine at the University of Arizona. And in this slide presentation, we're going to briefly look at the coronavirus and concerns that people have that they're actually bringing it into their house. Let's start by looking at possible sources of the virus, and we can divide these into people and things. So first, dealing with people. Uh, obviously, someone who coughs or breathe on, uh, breathes on you who is already infected, that could be a very potent inoculation of the virus. In addition, family members may be returning home from overseas or even from other states to, to stay. They could be carrying virus with them. Finally, um, a family member, even yourself, after a shopping trip, could be bringing the virus either on your clothing or on the items that you purchase. If we talk about things, we're talking about groceries, deliveries, even Amazon deliveries and boxes left on your doorstep. And finally, if you're older, uh, you may be getting mail still, and this could be a source of infection as well. So in order to answer these questions, we have to look at how long the coronavirus survives on various uh, surfaces. So if we start in the air, an aerosolized or respiratory droplet can survive for up to three hours. So what that means is if someone has the coronavirus and is spilling virus and breathing out into a room, even when that person leaves, the virus could remain airborne for about three hours. Hard plastic, steel, solid surfaces. Uh, on these surfaces, a uh, virus is rather hardy and it can survive two to three days. Now, this is survival if untouched. Obviously, we'll talk about things you can do to prevent that. Cardboard, about 24 hours. Cardboard is fibrous. Uh, it's not as... Um, uh, not as, as hard as plastic or steel, and the virus doesn't last quite as long. Surprisingly, copper is a very, um, uh, not a very good surface for the coronavirus to survive upon. And so if you want to have your boxes delivered wrapped in copper, that might help. Um, one of the big questions we have is fabric. How long does coronavirus survive in clothing? Well, we can say clothing is fibrous, kind of like cardboard, but we don't know. Those studies have not been done, so it's kind of up in the air. So we suggest it's best to be conservative and err on the side of uh, uh, long survivability. So you treat your clothing with respect, especially if it's been out uh, of your home. So what do we do with this information? Well. Here are some suggestions, and again, this is a common sense approach not based on hard data. If you order in food, well, it, it appears that cooked food is likely very safe. If you, if you doubt that, you can certainly microwave uh, your food items to be, to be sure. Um, generally, you can wash the packing materials or reserve on your own plates. Uh, and remember, the packaging around ordering food is only as clean as the people who are preparing it. So there's a big unknown there. If you have groceries delivered, uh, well, we wipe our packaging down with damp, soapy cloth prior to storing or refrigerating. You may want to open up packing material or even open up things like cereal boxes and just store the, the inner plastic bag on your shelf. It's, it's up to you. Uh, but remember, if it's cardboard, you could always let it sit. But this uh, soapy water should do, do much to reduce viral loads. Mail is likely safe. I mean, only if your mail delivery person has viruses and is coughing on your mail would there be a concern. But if you are concerned, just uh, put your mail aside, leave it outside in the backyard for a bit, and um, the next day pick it up and look through it. Finally, after shopping or exposure to crowds, we recommend stripping off your clothing, washing it right away, and showering well with soap. What about if you're exposed to potentially infected individuals? Uh, you're out in the grocery store and someone coughs on you or near you. Um, well, here we recommend, again, when you get home, wash your clothing, shower, we don't recommend going to the emergency department or for testing if you think you may have been exposed unless you're experiencing symptoms, fever, cough, shortness of breath. 
if possible, call your primary care provider or health department before going in uh, because some cities are actually scheduling testing and they're not walking despite what we hear on TV. Finally, what kills the virus? Well, again, this virus isn't that hardy. Uh, it can be killed by soap and water, washing your hands, good idea, Clorox, disinfectant wipes, alcohol and hydrogen peroxide do much to dissolve the, the viral membrane, if you will. Heat, heating things to 150 degrees for 30 minutes. Um, they're testing this with some mask-like fabrics now uh, that might work, and UV radiation, but this is high-dose radiation that's available in hospital emergency rooms. Bottom line is stay safe and stay indoors if at all possible.